Lopresti cowling for the M20 Mooney aircraft. Got a lot of bits and pieces here. Let me step you through. The new cowling, that's the thing everybody talks about, is a carbon fiber fiberglass laminate. But we're going to go through this one piece at a time here. Uh, we've got a lower cowling and an upper cowling. We've got nose gear doors, a nose gear fairing. We've got a windshield fairing, a uh, firewall upgrade and new induction system. Let's talk about the lower cowling first. Carbon fiber and fiberglass laminate. There are extra buildups inside the laminate. You know those places around the old cow flaps where cow flaps tended to crack? We beef that up a whole lot. Remember the old humps that were on your cow flaps? That uh, were big, draggy, bulbous shapes? We eliminated that and went to a smooth cow flap and added these nice low drag flush exits. New Ram Air inlet. I'll show you more about the Ram Air here in a minute. New windshield, or excuse me, new lens for your landing light. Nice screw count, preformed lens so it stays looking pretty. The cow flaps themselves are also carbon fiber. Now what's really kind of neat is when you turn it around and look on the inside. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but in close in here, uh, you can see the buildups of the extra carbon fiber unidirectional cloth really really stiff so there's extra buildups here there's a little step here cow flaps uh, nice bell mounts on these exit ramps now something that's really cool here is you'll notice the trailing edge of this cowling is curved that's for a purpose we have new nose gear doors that are also part of the kit they overlap and close like that and they land on this hump now, something you may not have noticed before is this blend blends way up here, back into the cowling. This is the normal shape, and then we start bumping up onto the nose gear door shape. Nose gear door shape comes aft with the nose gear doors, and just because that wasn't quite as much as we wanted, we added a little more back onto the belly of the airplane. So aerodynamically, these doors are much longer than the stock doors. They are overlapping, smooth, no lumps and bumps, and longer length means a smoother transition. Now, let's go talk about the upper cowling. Okay, this is the upper cowling. Again, carbon fiber and fiberglass construction. Now, one of the long running problems with Moonies is cracking along the top cowling. We've eliminated that. As part of the lamination process, we put three extra plies of woven carbon fiber in this area. Really, really stiff. Access on our cowling is much better than the stock cowling. We have these three latches on both sides. Pretty beefy door. You can reach inside. You can check the whole top of the cowling. Much, much better. Now, the inlet. is a much better inlet. Round inlet, nice diffuser duct. You can see the duct going aft. You'll notice that this split line on the top and bottom of the cowling is below the inlet. The shape of this lip is very, very important. And by keeping the split line away from the inlet, we ensure that this stays in good integrity, stays in good shape. The other advantage of lowering that split line, we are now about two inches lower than the stock split line on the J model. So now, by just pulling the top cowling, you can get to all of your plugs. So you don't have to pull the bottom off nearly as often. And again, on the upper cowling, you'll see the extra buildups inside here for the carbon fiber. Aluminized finish on the cowling on the inside to reject heat and to keep the laminate looking trim. You don't get any of that weavy, uh, waffly pattern on the outside of our cowlings. Now, in order to make the cowling work, let me flip this around a few minutes. Now, in order to make the cowling work, if you look at this contour, you notice there's a little bit of a curve here, a little bit of a crest. That's on purpose. If you look at your airplane and put a tuft on the turtle deck just forward of the windshield, you'll notice when you're flying, the thing's flopping all around and spinning around. We didn't like that. We eliminated that with the windshield wedge. 
we actually, uh, you're kind of looking at this from behind, but we put this back on your airframe, windshield contacts here, firewalls here, and we actually raise this center section up about an inch. Now to do that, the kit includes stainless steel parts that go on the firewall, uh, straps to make all that play together, and to get all of your uh, factories in the right spot. So we've raised this up about an inch to give that a nice blend back on the windshield. Did something similar on the lower cowling, if you remember, to blend those nose gear doors back. Stiffer cowling, better inlets, better shape, sexier shape, but that wasn't quite enough. Remember, we added a really nice looking ram air inlet on the lower cowling. It's not just about ram air, it's about how the air gets into the engine. So let me show you that. Okay, now it's not just a matter of opening up a big hole in the front of your airplane and letting cooling air in. We looked at all the cooling air flow, all the baffling flow, as well as the ram air. I'll get to the ram air in just a second because it's pretty special. But the kit comes with new baffle seals that are a different shape. There are instructions that come with the STC paperwork to trim your metal seals down and to trim the forward part of your metal baffles up because we're fitting a lot tighter inside there. That cowling is nice and tight on the engine and that takes care of it all. Now, you remember the nice big bell mounts, the uh, diffuser ducts on the uh, inlets and the bell mounts on the side exits? Well, there's still air going out past your cow flaps. So to smooth that airflow, we have these nice little torus shapes that go on the firewall left and right. Uh, we call these the donut pieces because I guess we were hungry that day, but they're the donuts. Uh, the okay, let's talk about the SCRAM RAM air system. Uh, this is the new air box and the RAM valve itself. Now, your stock air filter gets repositioned back onto this piece, and you take off your old air box. Uh, the Succopa valve gets moved from your old, RAM, your old air box onto our new air box right back here. Now, what really makes it work is this valve arrangement. It's really pretty special. This ties in to the new inlet on the lower cowling, on the front end, and on the back end, it goes right into the injector. Now you'll notice here that the valve is closed. Uh, you can tell that by looking in the front, you see the uh, yellow stripes. So the air goes in through your inlet, into the uh, air filter, through this new air box, and up and in. There's a little 90 degree turn right here inside the air valve. Now when you pull the cable and open up the ram air, let me reach up there, magically pull the cable, there we go, and you pull the cable, now you have a straight shot in, right into the injector. There's no lumps, no bumps, uh, no butterfly valve, uh, no seal, anything that goes past the inlet gets rammed in the engine. What's that worth? About an inch and a half of manifold pressure. Big change in speed. Now to make all that work, of course, there's a new cable, uh, brackets, weldments, uh, a little switch for the light. All of that is in the kit. Okay, that's it. We're wrapping up here. Just to go back again, we've got all these bits and pieces coming to the kit. All the hardware, nuts, bolts, screws, cables, placards, uh, plate nuts, lower cowling, upper cowling. What's that going to do for you? If you have an M20J, you're going to see a 7 mile an hour increase in speed plus have better access, plus have a prettier looking airplane that doesn't have any of that cracking because of the carbon fiber in the calendar. So if you want more information, give us a call at 772-562-4757 or drop by our website at lopresteaviation.com.